the Apple iPad. Some say it's just a bigger iPod Touch. Some say it's not necessarily revolutionary. I think it is, but it's revolutionary in a market that perhaps almost nobody knows about. I'm talking about in terms of accessibility for people who are blind or, lo or have low vision. For the longest time, we've had devices called note-takers. These were very expensive. They re the sweet spot for note-takers on the market right now is around the $2,000 price range. Again, $2,000. For that money, you're getting a device that normal that um, sighted people could get for a few hundred bucks. Okay? Very few solutions run below this price range. However, there are a few. Mobile Speak Pocket. You give it to a PDA, you can get a solution for under a thousand dollars. For just over a thousand dollars, excuse me. The Level Star Icon. Just over a thousand dollars. Fifteen hundred to be exact. The iPad has revolutionized, I feel, the note-taking industry, and again, this is just my opinion, uh, but I feel it's revolutionized the note-taking industry in a number of ways. The biggest one of which, well, let's take a look at all of them, actually. So, capacity. Excuse, excuse me. Uh, 1632 or 64 gig flash drives. With the exception of the Level Star Icon, there's no blindness PDA on the market that has this capacity built into it. Processor, 1 GHz Apple Alpha 4, custom designed, high performance, low power system on chip. No blindness PDA on the market has a 1 GHz processor aboard. Battery, up to 10 hours. Now, that's not quite as much as many note takers. Okay, but remember, we need to keep in we need to keep in mind that two thousand dollar price tag that you're paying for that extra ten hours of battery life. I'm scrolling down past this because there's one thing you really got to see: accessibility. For those who are blind or have low vision. You get the voiceover screen reader, full screen zoom magnification, and black on, on white on black high contrast display right out of the box. It's just this, it's the exact same thing as on the iPhone. You can also get this. This is the iPad dock, and it's a full sized keyboard. The only other note taker on the in, in the market, the uh, excuse me, the only note taker in the market to offer this type of uh, functionality is the Braille Plus by APH and Level Star and the Icon by Level Star. They're both practically the same thing. Suffice it to say the Braille Plus is a Braille keyboard, the Icon does not. Um, but this is the first mainstream product that I've seen that has accessibility in mind that can offer this sort of thing. So one gigahertz processor, 10 hour battery life, full on docking station, which it's just like the Mac keyboard. So if you're a voiceover user, I'm going to try this myself. But my hope is that you can go from voiceover on the Mac to voiceover on the iPad with little, uh, with little to no transition uh, involved as far as learning to drive your computer again. Same with the iPhone. If you don't have your keyboard, yet you're an iPhone or iPod Touch user, you use voiceover on that. It's going to be the same thing on here. So it's kind of like going from Windows to the PacMate, which the PacMate is a pocket PC running Windows Mobile running JAWS. So if you're a JAWS user on the, on the PC and you use JAWS on the PacMate QX, which is the QWERTY version, QWERTY keyboard, um, it's, no, it's no different. The same thing with the exception of, few, of a few command alterations. The same, but for the most part, it's the same. The same thing is true of the iPad. The iPad um, does have voiceover aboard, like I said. Um, it's also going to be compatible with the iWork suite, which means because iWork is in-house, um, all in-house applications by Apple are accessible with voiceover because Apple has seen to it. Um, even though it did take, in order to get voiceover up and running, it took some push by the American Foundation for the Blind, but that's another story altogether. Um, what I'm saying here is 10 hour battery life, 1 gigahertz processor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and 3G 
with a full-sized keyboard for under $1,000. In the note-taker industry, this is big. This is very big because you get 64 gigs of flash storage, a dock, 3G, Wi-Fi. Even the full decked out model would probably come in at under $900, which, you know, some of you may say, well, that's expensive. You need to understand that in this industry of blindness technology, everything is expensive. So having a sub $1,000 note-taking solution is big. Um, as to whether or not it'll take off, we'll see. But I hope it does because it, it just is just again this is my view. I love it. I plan to check it out. Um, it's it's going to be great. And you may be wondering, well, wait a moment. How much is the software? Apple, um, the iWork software does not come with the I iPad. But Apple believes that you should only get what you need. So if you don't need a word, if you don't need a presentation or database application, all you have to do is get Pages from iWork. All you have is Pages, ten bucks. $10 for each, so if you need all three of them, it's going to be $30, which, as far as word processing goes, um, you need to understand that this is not necessarily a mobile application per se. It's going to feel like what you have on the desktop. It's going to feel like I work on your Mac. So for $30, I'd say that's a bargain for all three of them. And again, you only buy what you need. So I think that's a really good way to go. And again, full accessibility, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 10-hour battery life, 3G, and full keyboard for under a thousand bucks? Hello! We got a winner. At least in my view we do. Again, this is this has always been my opinion. I welcome yours. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and